There's something about a haul video that feels very nostalgic, very old school YouTube. And it's honestly been a while since I've ever been able to even think about doing one of these videos because in the last couple of years especially, I've really cut back on my shopping and I'm much more intentional with it. But I spent some time back home with family and friends and we ended up visiting some outlets, some regular stores. I got some good deals. I did a little bit of online shopping. I don't know, things happened. And now I have a collection of like clothes and home related goods that I've accumulated that I figure, hey, like why not do a, a haul video because um, there's potentially something in here that could tickle your fancy and they're just fun. So opportunity to chat about a lot of different topics. I've got a lot to tackle, so we're just gonna dive right in and I'm gonna try not to spend too much time on one thing so that we can kind of keep things moving. My access to going to Costco is very limited in a city. So whenever I go back home, I always like to try and hit up a Costco trip because it's fun to go through the warehouse and see what's what. One of my favorite Costco sections to check out is their clothing department. And I got such a cute piece. This is a green, a deep green Sherpa. Little sweater jacket situation I would consider it more of a sweater but I love this like white creamish piping detailing on it it just gives it a little something something and something I can imagine really getting cozy with not only like potentially outside but even just inside my apartment as something like to to make me feel warm when it starts to get a little chilly in here this is my first Sherpa piece I have not wanted to like invest heavily into a Sherpa item because I do feel like it's a little bit trendy and not something I would see myself wearing like, I don't know, five years from now. I don't know, maybe maybe Sherpa will still be in. I could be wrong. But this was 23 bucks and I figured, you know, for 23 bucks I can hop on a trend. And honestly, I think like the green makes it a little extra special instead of like that teddy bear um, color that you tend to see. I think styling it with leggings and boots, it could be a whole moment. Imagine me getting coffee in this, it's great. And yeah, like at that price, how can you go wrong? I'm very excited about this. There are a few things I think that you can say, yeah, everyone should have this in their home. This is one of them. And Costco always has a selection of this. It is a set of Pyrex glass mixing bowls. I bought a set of this, but it was a set of three. This is a set of four when I first left for university. And I still have one of those bowls from that set. I have had some breakage because of user error, um, that being me dropping them. So <laughs> not the Pyrex's fault, it's my fault. I am the problem. But I love them so much that I wanted to refresh my set because they are really handy. The fact that they have lids makes these great for meal prepping, it's great for serving things. I do a lot of baking and these really come in handy for separating ingredients. And I think this whole set, the set of four with lids, was $24, 20 something dollars. I could be wrong. It was in the 20 range. It's just such a good deal for this kind of quality um, glass mixing bowl set. And I love the fact that this one, unlike the first set that I bought, you know, eight years ago at this point is colored glass. We've got a blue one, a green one, a brown one, uh, just pretty. So I'm excited about this. Gonna whip these into the dishwasher so I can get using them right away. Last thing I got at Costco was this big box of red lentil pasta. It's not that long ago that I was talking about my love for lentil pasta, but get this, when I buy the regular box of lentil pasta that's organic, it is like $7.99 typically for about 2.5 servings I get from that one box. This box, however, is 2.2 pounds. It has approximately 12 servings in this box and it was $11.99. So $7.99 for 2.5 servings versus $11.99 is such a stark difference. I was so pumped when I saw this. I haven't tried this brand before, but the ingredients for this is organic red lentil flour. So I don't think I'm gonna hate it if I like the other one that I have that's made from just simply organic red lentil flour. I love red lentil pasta. It adds protein to a dish. It adds iron to a dish. It just makes you know, a regular pasta dish a little more exciting and I always pair this with veggies just to flavor it up and, and make it not as dense as it can be if you're having it in a really plain way. Needless to say though, this fall I'll be having a lot of lentil pasta. The only really piece of fall slash Halloween decor that I've invested in this year comes in the form of taper candles. I have these beautiful taper candle holders that I like to sometimes find some unique candles for and usually HomeSense is a good place to find those because they have unique pieces like that. Last year I had like these really cute ghost ones in there. This year they're a little bit different. They're still ghosty but they're like little mini ghosts on this pink taper candle. I think these are so so adorable. They were $12.99 for three which is a pretty you know fair price for a decorative taper candle like this. What I'll probably do is 
put two of them in my taper candle holders and use them as like decor display pieces up until like two weeks before Halloween and then I'll start lighting them. I love candles too during the fall and winter. I think it just adds beautiful ambiance. So the both displaying and the lighting of these is gonna be a fun time. One of the little ventures I went on was to the Toronto premium outlets here in Ontario. I think we have a handful of premium outlets and I think they're pretty comparable or at least they are often compared to premium outlets that you can find down in the States. They're just a place where you can typically find some extra fun deals. One of those deals for me came at Fossil. I got this beautiful brown card case. It has a slot for your ID and then also a few credit card slots. Does this come out? It's got some beautiful stitching detailing. I have been just on the hunt for a new um, ID card holder, just something small that I could throw into a belt bag or if I'm going out and I'm taking a really small clutch with me, something a little bit uh, nicer just to have my cards and some cash in. I was originally looking at the Coach Outlet and seeing their like card holders. They had some nice ones, but nothing that was blowing me away and they were around 40 bucks. But when I went to Fossil in the men's section, I think that might be the secret, they had theirs on for 70% off. So this originally $50 card case came down to, with tax included, I think I paid $16.50 or something like that. $40 at Coach versus $16 tax included at Fossil. I was like, you know, this will do the job. And it is cute. I think it's classic, timeless, not something I'll get sick of, and it'll do the job for a lot less. Sometimes you get things on sale that you're like, well, this sale price really just feels like what the price should have originally been for this item. But when you find something like this that genuinely is like so discounted, I feel extra pride in the fact that yes, I did score on something that is a little bit higher quality than like what you could typically find for $16, but I got it for $16. At the Toronto Premium Outlet, they also have a NYX location. And we do have a NYX location in downtown Toronto, but this NYX location had extra sales and promos on. I highly recommend it if you are a NYX wearer. I have never experimented with any NYX products, none of their bras or loungewear or period underwear, but I ended up going in because my Tia had lots of things to say, lots of great things to say about their bras. So I ended up going in and getting size and I got some new bras, which are pretty unexciting. They're like just basic everyday bras. But one thing I am pumped about is that one of the deals was that if you spent $120, you got a free period underwear. And I have never tried like leak proof underwear before. I am very skeptical, but I am intrigued. Because I spent like, I think exactly 120 bucks, I got a free super leak proof thong. And I figured I'd show you this because I haven't worn it yet. And this is the only time I will show a pair of underwear. But also because I think it's kind of interesting to see how these actually look if you've never um, purchased these yourself. It looks like a regular, you know, underwear, nothing special. But on the inside, there's like this gray section that is, you can just tell there's thicker material in here. It's really soft, but it's quite like expansive. Now, obviously I got like the thong and even on the package it says that this is like not going to, even though it's like a high absorbency material, it's not what they recommend as using your only thing when you're on your period, especially on heavy days. I would like use this in conjunction with a tampon or only on like my lighter days. If you have any experience though, with this product or like products like this, let me know. I'm skeptical, I'm not gonna lie, but I can see the potential. Ultimately, I just think it's really nice to finally see some innovation, so many more options in the menstruation area just, just emerge. Levi's is probably where I did like the most damage, although um, I think I mentioned this before, I know someone who works at Levi's, so I get a very healthy discount when I shop at Levi's and it was the Levi's outlet, so there's like additional promos. It was a great time. I was like a kid in a candy store. One thing that I bought is my first ever jean jacket. Yeah, this is an oversized, I think it's the 90s trucker jean jacket. I think one of my favorite parts about this is the back. I just love the way that there's like this button detailing and it tapers in a bit, but it's still oversized. And yes, like I did, I did say that this is my first jean jacket. I think the last jean jacket I had was in elementary school. It's just not something I've ever really like gravitated towards, even though it's a staple. It's a pretty 
basic everyday item you could throw it on and match it with like a dress or with something more casual I don't even need to describe how you can wear a jean jacket because I think most people have a jean jacket so I'm glad I finally did it I'm gonna try and link it down in the description box below as well as links to as many things as I possibly can will also be in that description box I'm ashamed it's taken me this long to integrate this into my wardrobe but definitely a missing gap in my wardrobe that has now been rectified so in that way it was a huge win. I also got this pair of utility pants. They are mid-rise, slim through the hip and thigh and ankle length. They're just a pair of black, I guess like not quite a khaki material, but a fabric material that is in jeans. And that's one thing that I have like clocked about my fall winter wardrobe is aside from jeans or fancy trousers for like work events and stuff, I don't really have pants that aren't those things or leggings like I'm, I'm kind of like either in in leggings jeans or trousers and that feels very limiting so i like the fact that this utility pant just opens up the doors for a casual pant that is in jeans a little bit more comfortable they look really cute on and you know i got black they, they came in a few colors that who knows if i if i like this pair maybe I'll, I'll get a few others, but I felt like of the colors that they had, black made the most sense as being the most versatile um, if, I'm, if I'm so limited in my pants department. So there we go. Okay, there's another black thing I bought at Levi's and it is this just basic crew neck. I like these crew necks in particular from Levi's because they're not super thick, but they've got that internal soft fleecy, uh, is it fleecy? It's just like a soft material on the inside that feels like it's hugging you. So you still feel warm with the bulk. And I don't really like a lot of bulk when I'm doing a crew neck like this. I feel like it can swallow me up. I got this long sleeve, I guess ribbed, yeah, ribbed shirt. Yeah, that's the that's description for it. I don't know why I'm like questioning this. I mean, it's a pretty basic shirt. It's a slim fit, just something that you can honestly layer um, in the fall. I like the color. And what is it? It was 35 bucks regularly, but then like with discounts and everything, I think it ended up being a $14 shirt. This is the creme de la creme though from Levi's. It is a jacket that is very not me. It is not what I would associate as something that I would typically like, but I love playing with fashion and just like tiptoeing out of your comfort zone a bit. And like, this is by no means like bold or anything, but just in terms of what I usually buy or usually wear, it is a bit different. And I think it's fun to just play in that space of stretching out of that comfort zone, trying new looks. And, you know, I think fashion is great in that way that you can channel different facets of your personality and different versions of yourself maybe that you want to become more of and you can like use fashion as a tool it's really fun i don't know what this facet of myself is saying but this is like this leather trucker jacket style but it's got like this varsity look with the stripes it's got suede but also leathers so for mixing material it's just fun and like I love the little the little stripe detailing on the sleeves and at the bottom here it's got pockets a lot of my fall jackets tend to be a little bit more classic I have a lot of trench coats but I don't have really anything cool you know and I feel cool in this in this coat I think me saying that I feel cool takes away some of the coolness but so cute I'm like now feeling a little bit more excited about fall I think I was feeling a little resistant to it because it's been such a beautiful summer but fall is my favorite um fashion season of the year i just love the layering aspect and i love fall coats and now like i've got a different kind of fall coat to throw into the equation in toronto there's a few locations of a grocery chain called tabata it is a portuguese grocery chain so i know tabata because my grandmother whenever she's here my grandparents i should say whenever they're here in canada always like to make a stop there to get seafood and like portuguese brands and pick up some essentials right so i did end up going with my family and I picked up some snacks I enjoyed while I was back home, like Linguish the Gathu, which are translated to cat's tongues, but they're not cat's tongue, they're just uh, cookies. They're like cinnamon, sometimes lemony cookies. I love Linguish the Gathu growing up, so it felt very nostalgic to get that. They had Sumol and Compal, they had Maria cookies, which if you know, you know. They had Portuguese cereals, it was fun. They also though, had a section of terracotta dinnerware, which um, is something that you often find a lot of in Portugal. I was looking at their selection and I couldn't help myself. I had to get this little, I guess side dish. It's not 
quite small enough to be an olive holder, an olive tray. I have an olive tray in this terracotta style. But I, I picture like some side dishes being served here. I felt like it was an extra confirmation that this was a sign it was meant to be mine because the price at the front uh, is $11.99 and at the back was $12.99. So I kind of just let it, let it go and say it will be what it'll be and the price ended up being $11.99. So that dollar saving said to me, this was the choice, this was the move. I love just being able to look at the things in my home and in my kitchen and just feel like extra connected to them. And when you integrate pieces like this, for me, like that's, that's definitely doing that. It's not just cute, it also has like this tie to something more, which is a great combo. Highly recommend. Not something I personally bought, but L'Oreal ended up sending me some mascaras. And what's exciting about mascara, you ask? Well, typically not, that much. You know, we're very familiar with how mascara works, so they sent me the Blackest Black Voluminous Original and also the Black Brown version. I use this style mascara all the time. It's one of my go-tos. But two new ones that they sent that I've never tried and I'm intrigued by is one, a primer base. This apparently amplifies conditions and volumizes. Okay, we'll see. But this one's really cool because I would not buy this myself. And now that we're going into fall, I feel like this could be an exciting thing to experiment with. It is a deep burgundy mascara. I have no idea if I'm gonna love this or absolutely hate it, but I'm very honored that they sent it to me because again like kind of like clothing makeup is one of those areas where it you can have opportunities to tiptoe out of your comfort zone so I'll tiptoe I'll try anything once thank you very much L'Oreal for that but if you've ever tried colored mascara tell me which one would you recommend I know I know blue at one point was kind of coming back. This beautiful Loitre 1917 notebook is going to be my new journal for 2024. I have officially started. This will be my fourth one this year. I have completed from start to finish three journals, which I have never journaled so consistently in my life. Even when I was bullet journaling, I've never like journaled in this kind of quantity. It's baffling to me that I'm already on my fourth one. Um, I have to start it actually today, so this plastic wrap needs to come off. Even though this is a haul, I technically didn't buy this one. I um I was given it to me. I was gonna say I stole it, but my mom allowed me to take it from her surplus stationery collection. I think anyone who has a love for stationery ends up developing like a little bit of a pile of notebooks that you haven't used yet. And I have all this year been really trying to use the ones I have for like my my morning pages, which I do in these journals. But when I saw this color on her bookshelf, I'm like, ooh, you know. I really like that one, so she was gracious enough to uh, allow me to take it and put my own thoughts in it. So I'm very excited about that. I think a new journal for September just feels very on brand for September. September has this new year start to it. The fall just um, always makes me feel like we're getting a, a second round at New Year's vibes. I also went to Aritzia at the premium outlet. Of course, the thing that I bought wasn't on sale but i assure you if you check out an aritzia outlet there are some really great opportunities for discounts on items which are hard to come by at aritzia so when you can take the savings you gotta kind of run with it but like i said of course nothing in the sale department was really tickling my fancy but i did buy these because i tried them on and i'm like oh oh i do like this sweatpants are all the rage right now and every company is coming out with them but this pair this beautiful pair from the sweat fleece line just stole my heart. They are cargo style sweatpants, so they've got these great pockets on the butt and these side pockets that just make it a little bit more interesting as far as sweatpants go. And would you believe that this is my first sweatpant that I've owned in probably like 10, maybe 15 years, maybe 10 years. It has been a long time since I've owned a sweatpant and when I've told people that I bought like a sweatpant, my first sweatpant in my closet. The look of horror has been amusing, but also shameful because like, yeah, why don't I give myself the bliss of a sweatpant? It is really comfortable and cozy to be in a sweatpant. I feel like whenever I'm lounging around my apartment in the winter, I tend to opt for like leggings, but if you've ever worn leggings and you've ever worn sweatpants, they are very different experiences. And I have been depriving myself of this one so we've done it i'm now part of the crew the team of sweatpants now when someone says like come dress casually i actually can i ended up getting them in just like a classic gray they come in so many different colors but again because i don't have any i felt like going with something super neutral super boring uh would probably be the move and i'll see how i like them they aren't the cheapest sweatpant in the world and honestly costco at one point had a dupe 
for these that I am so sad I missed out on because that would have been great to to get those they were like on for like I think 20 bucks at one point but nonetheless I think this is gonna be great I'm excited to experiment and see how sweatpant life goes for me which is just a crazy sentence to say I'm sure some people are watching this like what like how how have you survived and honestly I don't know I've been late to the game like no sweatpants no jean jacket like what's what's been going on over here as we are approaching or heading into fall I'm curious to know what is something about fall that you're really looking forward to and or is there something in your closet or in your home you've got your eye on to look out for as like something a gap that you want to fill this season as you're shopping around I had so much fun with this felt very nostalgic like I said at the beginning of this video so hopefully you enjoyed it not something I'm doing every single week obviously because this is this is a lot but I feel like I, I got some good deals here so I'm I'm proud of myself too and on that note I'll see you guys soon with a new one until then bye everyone Day.